everyone, this is Jan from New York City and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. Hey, I'm back again on this Sunday so you're not seeing double. Today is Slow Cooker Sunday and each and every Sunday, for a few weeks at least, I will be showing a slow cook recipe. This one happens to be my recipe so you're not going to find this in any book. So I'm going to read this from my trusty notebook and you're going to need a minute to grab a pen if you're interested. And what it is, it's my chicken chow mein recipe and I really believe you're going to love it. I'm sorry I don't have a picture available, just trust me, it's going to be good. But first, grab a pen or a kick back and give it a listen to get an eye an eyeball as to what you're going to need. Okay, so you're going to need one to two tablespoons of vegetable oil. You're going to need one and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast, and you could cut that up into cubes or strips or whatever way you like to cut them up. You should get five carrots, I would say about medium sized carrots, and you could slice them thinly. Slice them in any direction you like, but personally, I like them in little strips, thin strips. You get about five green onions, and you slice them. And you can get optionally one white onion if you enjoy the flavor of onion because I do believe that in chicken chow mein, one of the dominating flavors to me has been onion. Next, you're going to need a couple of cups of sliced celery, two cups. And I like to cut the celery on a diagonal. So when you're cutting them up into pieces, of course you cut them in any direction you'd like. Um, you should have about one and a half cups of chicken broth. If you don't have chicken broth, you could certainly take one and a half cups of water and add one chicken bouillon cube to that. You can make that ahead of time, just throw it in. Um, one tablespoon of granulated sugar. And if you don't want any sugar in it, don't use it. But it helps offset the soy sauce and you'll need about a third of a cup of soy sauce. You're going to need a half a teaspoon of ground ginger. You're going to need one teaspoon of garlic powder or optionally if you prefer a fresh whole clove of garlic. Totally fine. Um, get one eight ounce can of bean sprouts. Get one eight ounce can of water chestnuts. Although I've heard of some people using sliced mushroom in, you know, interchangeably, you could do that too. Now you're also going to need a quarter of a cup of cornstarch, reserved for the end, and a third of a cup of water, okay? Because at the end of it, I'll explain what to do. So that's it for the ingredients, So here's the method. Okay, so the directions. You're going to heat the oil in a skillet. You're going to brown the chicken on all sides. You're going to place the chicken in the slow cooker. You're going to stir in every single ingredient except for the cornstarch and the water. You're going to cover, and this is good if you're like totally unavailable all day. You're going to cover and cook this on low for about seven and a half to eight hours. Then you're going to turn it to high, your slow cooker. And what you're going to do before you uh, turn it up high, you're going to make as they call a slurry, which is basically the cornstarch added to the water and make sure it's cold water and you mix it together, okay? And then you throw it into the slow cooker and then you stir it very well, combine it very well, but you're gonna switch it up to high, the slow cooker. 
what you're going to do is take the cover of the slow cooker and you're going to sort of step it aside to let some steam escape and you're going to keep it on high let it go for an additional 30 minutes okay so I'm going to go for the 30 minutes and this will allow the time for the liquid to thicken up that's a goo when you when you have chicken chow mein the goo so you're going to make the goo okay and basically in the interim you could be making rice or noodles and to be honest i do it the lazy way and i'll use like let's say like a minute type rice okay so i'll make a bunch of that and then i could put those ingredients on a bed of rice if you prefer some sort of noodles you do the noodle route, whatever way you prefer. And that's pretty much it. So we're there. And uh, it yields a lot. I'd say this yields between four and six servings. So very generously too. So this is really, really good. And if you decide to make it and you like it, please don't hesitate to comment back. Or let us know how you like this recipe. Like I said, I'm sorry you didn't have a picture, but you can use your imagination. Okay? Okay. Hope that everybody's doing well. Enjoy the remainder of your weekend. And thank you so much for coming back. Have a great afternoon.